Hello everyone. Now in this video, I am going to solve IIT Jam 2019 Mathematics question paper. Yesterday that uh, response it was declared and I got that response it. And maximum number of problem, the toughest problem, which was question paper was asked. I am going to solve that. Okay. So let's understand this first question. What this question says. And the most important thing is understand what the question exactly says. Okay. If the exam to has been done, you have given the exam. आपको भी पता है कि आपकी कितनी मार्क्स आने वाली है और नहीं आने वाली है सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट जो मायने रखता है कि आप इस एग्जाम से क्या सीखे करेक्ट है ना आपने इस एग्जाम से क्या सीखा आपका कैसा लेवल रहा अगर आपका अच्छा गया बहुत अच्छी बात है अच्छी जगह आपको मिलनी चाहिए लेकिन जिनका किसी कारण वजह अच्छा एग्जाम नहीं गया हो उनके लिए मैं चीजें बोल रहा हूं अभी भी आप स्टॉप आपको नहीं होना है आप पॉजिटिव रहो आगे बढ़ते रहो और भी बहुत सारे एग्जाम्स हैं जहां बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस दे सकते हो और अपने आप को और इंप्रूव कर सकते हो ठीक है तो वो सारी चीजों में जहां से भी मेरी साइड से सपोर्ट्स होगी मैं डेफिनेटली करूंगा उसके लिए मैंने भी बताया था आपको कि रेगुलर बैच स्टार्ट हो चुके हैं 2 मार्च से स्टार्ट हो रही है आईटी जैम की वीकेंड बैचेस और देख लीजिएगा रिस्पेक्टिव ऑन द वेबसाइट एवरीथिंग इज मेंशन कि कब से कौन से बैचेस स्टार्ट हो रही है बट हैविंग सेड दैट लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट दिस क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली सेज एंड हाउ वन शुड अप्रोच ठीक है so question is which one of the following series is divergent? Okay, this is the section of part A and IIT Jan Maths 2019 the solution. Okay, the series is missing divergent over. The first one is says uh, series 1 by n uh, sine square 1 by n, second 1 by n log n, 1 by n square sine 1 by n, and the last one is 1 by n 10 times 1 by n. So, which series is missing to divergent? Hai. Look, if you look at all the terms, all the n terms are non negative, right? So, this type of language student log says my problem hung here. So, I will start how to approach. Let's approach this type of problem. How should think? So, important thing is go through this. Look, the first you are saying about this series. Your, here, an is 1 by n sine square 1 by n. Now recall sin theta is less than equal to theta. So this is less than equal to 1 by n. 1 by n ka whole square. So this is 1 by n k. So a is dominated by this and this series is convergent. Hence this series is also convergent. You are asking about divergent. So this is not true. What about let's see come to the c. c section is again a n is n term is 1 by n square sin 1 by n, correct? Eh? Now, sin theta is less than equal to 1, so this is less than equal to 1 by n square. Take it, sin theta jo hota hai, sin theta is always less than equal to 1 for all values. Take it, so this value is max value of this is 1. So, 1 by n square sin 1 by n is always less than equal to this. If you look at the modulus as well, look, look to the mod also. Take it, so this is less than equal to this. Yaan ki case mein humne kya use kya tha? Ki sin theta ka mod which is less than equal to 1. Nee, sin theta jo hota hai, which is less than equal to theta for all theta positive. Take So that's what fact I have used. Fine. Uh, next, so this is also convergent, hence it is not divergent. And the most important case D here a n is 1 by n 10 times 1 by n. For this, look at this b n is equal to 1 by n square. Take and evaluate this limit. Limiting value n tends to infinity, a n by b n, you will end up with 1. Hence, convergence series a n converges if and only if series b n converges. And series b n is convergent, so this series is also convergent. You are asking about the divergent, so this is not true. Hence, this is the correct option. But I like to leave as an exercise so that this series is divergent. Okay, so for that you need some bound, lower bounds on this n term. Find that lower bound. So, okay, so I have done enough. Okay, this, all these remaining threes are conversant. Hence it is not the correct option. So remaining, uh, the option is going to be the correct option. Hence this is divergent. But what I am saying is, give me the bound for this. Give me the bound for this. And this I like to leave as an exercise. So this is the correct of matter. Okay. okay how to just write on the comment what is your bound and all that. And uh, if I'm if 
if if your reasoning is correct it's fine if your reasoning is not correct i'll discuss on the next videos theek okay? hai but please you should mention what is the lower bound for this okay so this is the way to approach this kind of problems so only things i have used is this concepts okay so understand it that's what i'm saying understanding is most important understand about it not just mug up all those results and all that it's not going to help you in the long run theek okay? hai to अच्छे रिजल्ट्स के लिए अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट होना बहुत जरूरी है और इसी के लिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ ज्वाइन दिस बैच रेगुलर बैच सो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियोस लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ठीक है